What is going on, everybody? Welcome to video three of the Forex Beginner Bootcamp Series. What is Forex? Um, so I get this question a lot. Um, Forex is short for the foreign exchange market. It deals with every country's currency pair. Um, every country has their own currency pair. Um, if you live in the U.S., you have the U.S. dollar. In Canada, they have the Canadian dollar. Mexico, they have pesos. In um, Europe, they have euros. If you was to go to um, the United Kingdom, they have pounds. Um, so every time that you go out of the country, you are ex exchanging money. So if you was to go to Europe right now, you would exchange your U.S. dollars for euros. Depending on what the market is like, um, you're either going to get more money for your U.S. dollars are you going to get less money for your U.S. dollars when you do convert it to euros? If the euro is stronger than the U.S. dollar, you're going to get less money. If it's weaker than the U.S. dollar, you're actually going to get more money. Um, so the Forex market is the largest financial market in the world. It does over $5 trillion a day in value. Um, it's much bigger than the stock market. It's much bigger than commodities. It's much bigger than bonds. And it's much bigger than the futures market. Um, people ask me a lot, what's, hey, well, Jordan, what's the difference between the Forex market and the stock market? Um, so stock has to do with individual companies. Um, if you was to buy a piece of stock like Apple, Amazon, Toyota, Ford, McDonald's, Starbucks. Um, when you buy a stock, you actually are buying a piece of that company. Um, in the Forex market, let's just say if we're talking about the euro versus the U.S. dollar, for example, um, you're either going to buy or sell. If you was to buy the euro um, dollar, if you was to buy the euro versus the U.S. dollar, you're saying, hey, I believe that the euro dollar is going to go up in strength. If, I believe that the euro is going to go up in strength. I believe that the dollar is going to go down in strength. If you was to sell it, you would say, hey, I believe the euro is going to lose strength. Um, so the Forex market is the most volatile market of the other financial markets. It's so volatile um, because it deals with the world's currency and there's so many transactions that go on a day. Um, you have big governments that are constantly involved in the financial market. Um, governments constantly exchanging money with other countries. Um, whether that be for policy, for products, or for services. Um, and then you have big companies that constantly exchange money dealing with other countries. Um, again, whether it's for products or whether it's for service, um, they're constantly exchanging money. And then you have the retail traders like me and like you. Um, they usually just speculate whether the market is going to go up or whether the market is going to go down. Um, Forex is really is real attractive to a lot of people, especially newer traders, um, because it is so volatile. So that means there's a there's a lot of opportunities to get in and out of the market um, whenever you want to. Um, it's that's a good and a bad thing. That means it's more opportunities to make money. It's more opportunities to lose money as well. Um, Forex actually have the largest leverage out of all of the asset classes. Um, when you talk about leverage, you're, you're using a small amount of money to control a bigger amount of money. Um, so let's just say, for example, the Forex market has a leverage of 50 to 1. That means for every $1 you have, you can leverage $50. So let's just say, for example, if you have $1,000 in your trading account with the 50 to 1 leverage, you can control $50,000 a $50,000 position are up to, depending on which currency pair you are trading. Um, each currency pair um, has their own margin requirements. And we want to talk about leverage and margin more in the next video of Forex Basics. Um, but that's kind of what Forex is, you all. Forex is the foreign exchange market. Um, it's one of many asset classes. You have stock market, you have the Forex market, you have commodities, bonds, and futures. Um, there is there are many markets. Um, regardless of what anybody might say, you don't really have to pay no startup fee or anything like that to get started with Forex. All you have to do is open up a brokerage account, um, which we're going to talk about in the next video of how to open up and how to pick a reliable, um, reputable U.S. regulated broker. 
Um, all you have to do is put money in your trading account and then you have to buy. You either you're either gonna buy or you wanna sell a currency pair. Um now you, you do need to I would suggest before you do that, you need to know exactly what you are doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you're essentially you're gambling, um, which could result in a large loss of money. Um so that's what Forex is, you all. Foreign exchange market, um, it deals with trillions of dollars a day. It's the most volatile market. Um, in the world and let's go to video number four where we're going to talk about forex basics get you all caught to speed with just the basics of forex see you all in the next video